Hey guys, back here again with another video on the UDR. It's been uh, about a month since I've ordered the rear end parts for my UDR. Uh, and uh, none of them are here yet. So, I guess I'm just gonna leave that all open like that. We're gonna start on the front end, because I at least got my front end parts. And I got some other parts too. Thicker front links, the steering links, because these ones bend really badly. So that was like, I don't know, $80 for those. And I got a steel drive shaft for the rear instead of the stock aluminum one. Bought a steel one, hope, hoping that this is stronger. I'm not going to put that on yet. I'm going to wait for that one to break. Just showing you all the new parts that I got. And also this drive shaft right here that goes in here in the front. That's steel. Then I also got these upgraded front drive shafts because I broke this one. As you can see, it spins freely. I broke this pin on that drive shaft. So we'll replace that one today. And I think that's all I've gotten so far. There's nothing else I've gotten. And it's been like a month since I've ordered all this stuff. So let me just get you guys set up here. Oh, this is a very big truck. So basically what we're going to be doing is tie rod ends and drive shafts. I hope these drive shafts fit because they came off of Amazon. I really do hope they fit. <laughs> I really, really do hope they do fit. Okay, well, first things first. Get out the biggest drill you can find. There's some long screws on this bad boy. That's not gonna work. Cool. Well, gotta do it the hard way then. Oh, what the hell? Come on, don't start stripping. That's not nice. That's not very nice. Stop that. And also, in another video, I'll give you guys a tip. Or at least for what I found would work. Especially when your your wrenches get like this, where the front of it's kind of rounded off, but yet you got all of this other good metal that isn't all rounded off. I'm gonna make a video of what how I figured out and to make this basically like a brand new one all over again. <clears throat> took me a little while to figure out something, but I finally did. Mm. I did it with my Dremel on all my impact drill bits that I have. Because all of them were stripped out and really worn out. Oh, yeah. This isn't going as good as I thought it would. So I thought I'd just make a little video here for you guys today, because 
I'm not doing anything else today. Uh huh. And there's definitely the culprit. Yeah. Yeah. As you guys can see, there's no pins on that at at all. There's the hole. <laughs> something to clean out the screw hole with because it's all clogged up with dirt and stuff obviously if you don't have a UDR there's a little screw back here and yes guys I got my nails painted with my wife for her birthday I took her to a salon to get her nails done, and I decided to get my nails done and painted too. That is what a real man is. If you paint your nails and go out in public, you're a fucking real man. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. <clears throat> <clears throat> now that screws out you will pull the disc and the disc break off if the disc wants to come off uh oh not this again oh no well I guess that's not gonna happen come on Well, there we go. Getting some type of... I'll be back, guys, when I replace the drive shaft, and then I'll show you how there's a screw back here and how to take it off. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back here again. Um, one thing I actually kind of like from the Amazon shaft is it is the exact same length exact same size I think Ooh, it might be a little short but stock shaft is black this one's kind of like a brownie color it's actually kind of nice looking I like it let's see if it fits let's see if it fits in here yeah fits like a darn glove wow Okay, well, let me put the disc on and stuff, and I'll be right back. Here, guys, this is the example that I was trying to tell you guys about. This plastic stock one sucks. Look how freaking bent that is, and it bent all by itself. So that's why I got this. <laughs> way bigger, way better. And it should last a lot longer than these plastic ones should. So do you know what you do with these? Oops. <clears throat> and just make sure, obviously, you got the eyelets facing the same way as the old one. Skinny eyelet in first. And the thicker eyelet out. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's not in here like a snake. No. I damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I know my arm is in the way. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. What the hell? Oh, no. God damn it. Okay, I'll be right back after I'm done fooling around with this stupid thing. 
There we go, guys. So, there you go. You got the blue. You got the blue. You got the blue. And more blue. So, if you guys can't tell, I'm trying to go for a blue theme. Um, and then the next thing I need to do is I need to try to see what other different tires and rims will fit on this truck. See what other types will fit on here better. And look cool as heck. And now I'm going to put that on there. I'm going to pause it right now. I'm going to do this. And I'll bring you guys back and let you guys know if those drive shafts actually work or not. Be right back. Well, guys, I just broke my tripod. That's kind of terrible. Oh, well. Well, I got it all put in there. All done up. Nice. You're probably going to have to tune this up to make the wheels straight. But other than that, we're done. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this type of RC stuff, subscribe to my channel. Peace.